Okay, hi, this video is going to cover adding and subtracting polynomials. So the learning goals for this video are to understand what like terms are and why we can add and subtract like terms only, and also to add and subtract polynomials such as these. So this uh, video, we're going to use algebra tiles, the ones, the things that you see here, to help us visualize what we're going to be doing. So here we have this expression, we're asked to simplify it. We have 2x squared minus x plus 3 minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. So I'm going to use these tiles to represent each of these terms. So for 2x squared, I'm going to be using these uh, this uh, large blue square, that's the x squared tile. Since it's, a, since it's 2x squared, I'm going to use two of them. So this is a way of expressing 2x squared. Now the next term here is minus x, so I'm going to use this minus x term. I'm going to move it over here. And this plus 3, I'm going to use these positive 1 squares here. I'm going to put 3 of them. Now minus 3x squared, I'm going to be using these minus x squared tiles. Okay, I think I'm going to have to overlap them. Now the next term is plus 2x, so I'm going to use these blue x tiles here, because it's positive. And then minus 1, I'm going to be using that minus 1 here. So everything that you see down here is just a representation of what you see up there. Now it makes sense now to rearrange the, uh, the uh, tiles on the bottom there according to their shapes. So I'm going to put the big squares together, I'm going to put the rectangles together, and I'm going to put the little squares together. All right, so let's do a little rearranging here. All right, I'm going to move that over there. Let's move these ones over onto the end. There we go. And then, all right, so we've got squares, rectangles, and little squares together. Let's write down what we have. Um, so these two blue squares represent 2x squared. The three red squares here represent negative 3x squared. Now we've got minus x plus 2x. Now this is a minus 1 and a plus 3. Okay, so you notice that again, the squares are together, rectangles together, little squares together. Those are like terms. So um, these terms here, this 2x squared and the 3x squared, are like terms because they're the same shape in terms of the tiles. Right? The negative x and the plus 2x, these are like terms as well. And then the minus 1 and the plus 3 are like terms. Okay, They're the same type. So what we can do is we can use these tiles to help us understand uh, the adding and subtracting bit. So you notice here we have 1, this 1 tile, and we have this negative 1 tile. So 1 take away 1 is 0. Okay? So that means they're gone. They annihilate each other out. They subtract each other out. So 1 take away 1 is 0. They can disappear. Same thing happens when you have x take away x, right? They're zero as well. Those are called zero pairs. And then x squared minus x squared, again, those will disappear. And the same thing here with the x squared minus x squared. So what we have left okay, is we have negative x squared plus x plus 2. Let's write that down. Negative x squared plus x plus 2. So that's how we use the tiles to help us with simplifying these uh, polynomials. Um, eventually, we don't, we don't want to use these tiles. So let's take a look at what we wrote here to make some sense of all this. So these two are like terms. Okay? These x squares are the same type. So if we have two of them, and then we're taking away three of them, so we're left with negative one of them. Okay? So again, if you don't see a number, there's actually a, a, a negative one there. Uh, here we have negative x plus 2x. Okay, so these are like terms. So here's 1, right? So 2 take away 1 is 1. And then finally, negative 1 plus 3 makes positive 2. Okay, so we're just, we're basically grouping them in terms of their like terms. And then we simplify them uh, at the end here. Okay, so the x and the x squareds, okay, just because they have the same letter, it doesn't mean they're like terms. This thing has a, this thing's an x squared, and this thing's an x. So the last part here, like terms must have the same variable, okay, but they also have to have the same exponent. So it's like the x and the x squared are cousins, but they're not alike. Okay, so that's very important. 
All right, let's take a look at this uh, expression here. Three times the quantity of 2x plus 1, and then plus x minus 1. So this is basically saying we have 2x plus 1, but there's three times, three of them. Uh, so let's represent that. Okay. So we have here 2x plus 1. Okay. But this says there's three times that, so there's three of them. So I'm just going to do another set here, and then one more set. So now this is three of these 2x plus 1s, and then we are adding this set here of x minus 1. So that's what we have up here, but in tile form. Okay, so now we're going to rearrange them according to their shape, like we did in the last question. So um, I'm going to move the numbers. Oh, actually, no, sorry. I'm going to write down what we have right now. Um, uh, here we have six of these x's, so that's six of these x's. Here we have one, two, three, so that's three plus three. Now you notice that we have plus x and then minus one. Okay. If you if uh, you're savvy, you'll notice that this is exactly like the distributive property, right? Three times two makes six. Three times one makes three. Okay. And the same thing here. There's an invisible one. So one times x is x, and one times negative one is negative one. So we just did the distributive property without actually doing it. Um, and uh, so that's basically the strategy, let's say, if we didn't have the tiles. Okay, so the next step here, would we would rearrange. So we would put all the uh, squares together, right? And we would put the uh, tile, uh, the uh, rectangles together, all right? So now that we've rearranged, okay, we have here 6x plus that x there, minus 1 plus 3. All right, so we're going to add them all up. So there's no zero pairs here in terms of the x's, but so we have seven of them. Okay, so here, 6x plus another x makes 7x. But here we've got a zero pair. We've got this one and this negative one here. They disappear, and I'm left with two. Okay, and that's a positive two, so that's plus two. Okay, so again, we can do this actually without the tiles if we just kind of keep looking at the line above us. 6x plus x makes 7x. Negative 1 plus 3 makes 2. Okay, so we just use uh, or simplify the like terms. So these two are like terms, and these two are like terms here. Okay. Now, we cannot, cannot do 7x plus 2 make 9x. Okay, that is not true. Okay, don't ever do that. That would make me cry. So, because these aren't the same type, you cannot combine them. Okay, so we leave our answer as 7x plus 2. Okay. All right, let's try some things without the algebra tiles now. So on the side here, you notice uh, I've come up with some, uh, like a list of what you need to do. So uh, we're going to remove brackets by multiplication. Then we're going to sort out the like terms and then simplify them. So this example here, um, I noticed that uh, there aren't any numbers on the side, but there actually are, right? If you don't see a number there, there it's, it's, a, it's a 1. So this 1 is going to multiply into each of these terms here. So 1 times 3x squared y, well, that's just 3x squared y. Now 1 times 2 is 2xy squared. Okay? So when you multiply with 1, right, nothing changes. Here it's a negative 1, though, so negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, and then we have x squared y. And then negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6, x, y squared. All right, let's take a look at the like term. So this thing is an x squared y. That's an x, y squared. So they have the same letters, but the exponents aren't in the right place. So they're not like terms. But I do notice that here we have an x squared y. Here we have an x squared y. And then also over here, we have an xy squared, and we have an xy squared over there. All right, let's just write the like terms together. It's like sorting out the tiles, right? So let's write down the uh, x squared y things first. So here are 3x squared y. Here we have minus 4x squared y. Okay. Let's write the other terms now. We have, so we have uh, plus 2xy squared plus 6xy squared. Okay, I'm color coding them on purpose because those are the like terms. So we just deal with those terms separately. Okay. 
Um, so we have three of these terms take away four of those terms. So we just have to deal with the um, the numbers in the front. So three take away four is negative one. So we can write negative x squared y. We don't have to put the one there. Okay. If it makes you feel better, you can put a one there. But we normally don't, so I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> All right, and then here we have uh, plus uh, two xy squared plus six of them. So two plus six makes eight. So that's plus eight xy squared. Now again, they're not like terms, so we don't combine them. So that's it. All right, let's do question B. Uh, so we're going to multiply the 2x all right, into each term here to remove the brackets. So 2x uh, times 4x is going to be 8x squared. 2x times 1 is 2 with an x. Now this negative 3x with the x, so negative 3, so there's an invisible 1 there. So if, if that do the, write the 1 if it helps. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 x times x is x squared and then negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 and there's just one x here all right so step one is complete up there so now we're going to sort out the like terms so again that's a like term with this because they're both x squareds and then here are like terms because they're just regular x's all right so let's write the x squareds first the bigger exponent goes first first. So 8x squared minus 3x squared. And then we'll write the plus 2x minus 6x. All right, so we have 8 of these x squareds take away 3 of them. So that makes 5 of those x squareds. And then 2 take away 6 of these x's. So that makes negative 4x. Okay. So those steps are exactly the success criteria. Okay, so we're going to remove the brackets, if there are, are any, by using the distributive property. Sort out the like terms. And remember, like terms have to have the same variable and exponent. And then simplify the like terms just by adding and subtracting the coefficients. So the coefficients are just the numbers in front of the, the, the variable. Okay? Be careful with the integers. Okay? So if you need a calculator, use it. Okay? So try these two um, uh, questions out or uh, expressions, simplify them. So follow this success criteria, uh, pause the video, give them a try, and then when you're ready, press play and we'll take them up. All right, so let's uh, get rid of the brackets first. So we've got this, uh, these invisible ones in the front, right? So we're gonna multiply one into each of these terms. But remember, multiplying by one doesn't do anything, doesn't change anything. So one times four is four, right? A squared B. And then 1 times the negative 5 is negative 5ab squared. Same thing here. We've got uh, 1 times, we've got an invisible 1 here. So 1 times 1 is 1. We can write the 1 if it helps. a squared b. Okay? 1 times negative 2 is negative 2ab squared. Okay? Let's highlight the like term. So here's an a squared b. I notice here's an a squared b. I notice here's an ab squared. Here's an AB squared. So we're going to write the A squared B's first. So 4A squared B plus 1A squared B minus 5AB squared minus 2AB squared. Okay. So let's simplify those green terms. So 4 of them plus 1 of them makes 5 of them. And then negative 5 take away 2 would make negative 7 a b squared all right now again those the green and the purple are not like terms so we'd have to end it at that they don't combine all right let's look at the last example here so 4a times 3a right so we're going to multiply the 4a into both so 4 times 3 makes 12 and then we have a squared 4a times negative 5 is negative 20a now we have negative 2a times 5a, so that's negative 10a squared. And then negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14a. All right, let's sort out the like terms, right? a squared, these are a's here. Okay, so let's write down 12a squared minus 10a squared. And then minus 20a plus 14a. We're going to simplify the like term. So we have 12 of these a squareds. We take away 10 of them, makes 2 of them. 
a squared. And then here we have negative 20a plus 14. So we have negative 20 plus 14 is negative 6a. And remember, oh, and again, they're not like terms, so we have to leave it at that. Okay, so let's just sum up what we've done uh, by some true or false questions. So 3x squared y and 4x squared y are like terms and can be simplified to 7x to the 4y squared. Now, if you said false, you would be correct. These are like terms, but when we add, or the exponents never changed. Okay, so when we are adding, right, or subtracting, right, the exponents don't change. Okay, do not change. It's only when you multiply or divide that that happens. Now to remove brackets, we multiply the number outside the bracket with each term inside the brackets, right? That is, of course, true. And does every bracket have a number in front of it? If you don't see one, remember, let's say if it looks like this, you bet your bottom dollar that there is an invisible one there, right? So, of course, that's true. So, hopefully this video has made adding or subtracting polynomials uh, clear. Um, if you need to watch the video again, go nuts. Otherwise, best of luck. We'll see you again soon.